Hey y'all, I hope y'all doing good. As you can read from the title of this video, I will be playing interactive story games with myself as the voiceover and I will have some ad-libs that makes the story even funnier or entertaining. And what made me do this video is because I've been enjoying doing interactive story games since 2017 and I decided that I'm going to eventually create my own interactive story app. And if you are wondering what an interactive story game is, it is basically a game where you are making choices to create how the story flows. It's pretty fun, especially for those who love to read novels and those who love to write novels. And uh, I really enjoy it because some of the choices they give you, it makes you like say all kinds of crazy stuff out loud like you know how guys they play video games and they're like yelling and cussing and doing all that stuff i'm the same way with this novel with this interactive story game, you know so i really enjoy it and i thought hey i should just share with you guys for entertainment purposes and i think you guys love it so what i am going to share with you today is a story from the episode app and it's called Love on Fire. It's chapter one. After this video, I'm not gonna do any more intros for the other chapters. I'm just going to get straight to it. So before I get to the chapter, please subscribe and like this video. Press that bell button so you can get notifications when I post and enjoy. Episode one, Love on Fire. I like to be different, to do things my own way especially when it comes to finding love. So I signed up for Love on Fire and I got in. Welcome to Love on Fire, this year's hottest reality TV show. Let's head inside. Ready to date a bunch of hotties and fall in love? Um, yes. Let's figure out your look. But first, what's your name? Patrice. P-A-T-R-I-C-E. I'm so glad we changed this because I don't look anything like this. Let's go to body type because you know what? I am thicker than a snicker. Yeah. Now let's change the skin tone to a darker shade. And let's try... Ooh, this one right here. That's it. All right, what's next? The hair. Let's change the hair to something longer. I have curls right now and it's like a wavy kind of curl. Hmm, they have a lot of styles here. Um, long thick curls and then, no, oh, it's like more curly curly. Um, oh, that one right there on the top. Yes, that's it. And my hair is actually the same color, so I'm gonna keep that color for my hair. Now, let's go with eyes. Hmm, deep set almond. That seems about right. Yeah. All right, next is eyebrows. Um, arch short, maybe. Uh, yeah, now let's change the color. Um, strawberry blonde, no. Brown, mm, it's a little too dark. Deep brown, mm, no. Let's see what else they have. Like pink, I want to see what this looks like. <laughs> I love the color, but not on my eyebrows. Copper red. Mm, I like this, but let's try ginger red real quick. Ooh, that's the one. That is the one, but let me just make sure. Okay, yeah, that's the one. Now, um, let's go with face shape. I have soft heart. I think that's it right there. Done. Let's go with the nose. Um... Hmm, not that one. Maybe this one. Yeah. All right. Let's go with mouth. Um, small heart. And then we'll change the color of my lips. Let's try natural. Uh, maybe I'm in the wrong section. Let's try other colors. <clears throat> gloss that might be the one right there let's see hmm. 
pastel purple i love that color but not for this show let's see what else they have violet yes violet is it yes that's perfect and we're done and yeah it looks good perfect i forgot to change the color of my eyes oh well omg you are gorgeous it's time to choose your love coach our purpose is to help you find true love. You get to choose between me, Harley, and Henry. Hi Patrice, I'm a model from New York City and I hate wearing shirts. Bonjour Patrice, you are gorgeous. I'm a matchmaker from Paris. That was a horrible accent. And I'm a fashion blogger and stylist from LA. I'm going to pick Ashley because we're both from LA and we have similar styles and we're women, so yeah. Yes, fantastic choice. Now, look out the window. Oh, they out there getting it in. I need to be out there. And all those hotties are waiting to meet you. What? I mean, of course they are. They're going to love me. How could they not? <laughs> right? Okay, let's go over how this works. There are 30 people here today, but only 20 will make it past this afternoon. OMG, dang, you need to make a really good first impression because at the end of the pool party, everyone will be voting on who gets to stay. Okay, I want everyone to see, I want to win. Yes, I love hearing that girl. Now let's get you in a look that screams game on. I have two ideas. Okay, let me see them. This outfit just screams confidence. A red hot bikini definitely shows you're in it to win. So you're about to see your first premium choice. Premium choices give you exclusive experiences, help you further your relationship, gets you the best outfits and more. This time we're giving you one of these premium bikinis for free. Oh, that sounds amazing. Okay. So which bikini will it be? Hmm. I wear the colorful bikini. You're going to turn heads in that look, that's for sure. I love it. Thank you so much. You look fabulous. All right. You ready to meet some of your housemates? The question is, are they ready to meet me? Bring them on. I'm ready. Oh, wait a minute, it's Patrice. Patrice, we're so excited to meet you. Oh my gosh, hi. I'm debating if I should read the tutorial on these stories. I have to figure it out. You look incredible. I can't take my eyes off of you. I know, same here. Oh, y'all are sweet. I love it, thank you. We were all going around talking about our types. Do you have a type? Hmm, I sure do. My type is tall, dark, and handsome. That's the magic combo for me. Tall, dark, and handsome, huh? I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> okay, everyone is staring at me. Maybe I should ask some questions. Okay, how is it possible that we're in Mexico? Seriously, and then we get to live here for a month. Assuming we don't get eliminated. Best month of our life starts now. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's refill our glasses. Okay, Asher, get it, I see you with the moves. Hey, what, what, get it, get it. Man, I'm buzzing already. Hello, sexy people. Welcome to the Love on Fire Mansion. We have an addition to the group. Meet Isadora. Oh. My. God. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Isadora. Let's loosen things up and play Truth or Dare. As a newcomer, you get to go first. Okay. Hmm. Patrice, Truth or Dare? Hold up, how does she know my name already? Anyway, I will take Dare. 
Yes, let's get this party started. Okay, I dare you to nibble the ear of the person you're most attracted to and tell them a secret. <laughs> okay, that would be Chris, my tall, dark, and handsome man. <laughs> Chris is super hot. You got me over here blushing. <laughs> okay. You walk over to Chris, who's beaming ear to ear. You lean in, smiling seductively, and nibble his ear. <laughs> what <a> tease. <laughs> now for the secret. What should I tell Chris? You lean back in and whisper in Chris's ear. You are seriously sexy. Mm, but that's no secret. Chris takes your hand and whispers in your ear, right back at you. You're the most attractive person here. Attention everyone, we're adding twins to the mansion. Please meet Chloe and Zoe. I am so freaking out. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone. Welcome to the party. We're playing truth or dare. Chloe, you should go next. God, okay. Oh my gosh, I don't even know any of your names. Hmm, okay, how about you? She points at Chris. Truth or dare? Dare. Yes, come here. Chloe whispers something in Chris's ear. <laughs> he laughs and it heads straight for you. <sighs> he picks you up, carries you to the pool, and throws you straight in. Oh, no, he didn't. If I get out this pool and my hair is messed up, oh, it's going to be on. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Okay, my hair is still straight. All right, we cool. Oh, Chris, you cannot be playing with me like that. Bet you weren't expecting that. You were looking mischievous, okay? I could tell you were up to something. He has no idea what's going through my mind right now. Look at that water dripping off his golden skin, his big smile. Oh, the way he's looking at me. Glad to see you're getting along, my lovely fires. We have two more hotties joining us. Please welcome best friends, Ben and Vlad. Hi, boys. Oh, let me calm down before Chris gets jealous. It can't all be fun and games. We're looking for love. Time for your first challenge, speed dating. You have 30 minutes to talk to three people of your choice. Afterwards, you'll each vote to decide if you want to keep each person you talk to in love on fire. Ten of you will be eliminated tonight, so get mingling and make a good impression, you sexy people. Patrice, who do you want to talk to? Well, Chris, of course. <laughs> this is wild. Hmm. I love this whole thing already. Yeah, I need to shake off my nerves. Well, shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> so where are you from? L.A. That's awesome. L.A. is the best. It's okay. What about you? Where are you from? Guess. Hmm. Okay, you definitely seem like you're from somewhere in the middle. I'm getting middle of the country vibes. Am I right? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to tell you yet. What? <laughs> That's not fair. I told you. Mm -mm. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I see you don't have any tattoos. If you get one, what would you get? Hmm, that's a great question. I'll get some of the lyrics, some music lyrics, right on my rib cage. Lyrics on your ribs. That's sexy. Maybe at some point we can get tattoos together. If you're lucky. I think that's a challenge. I'm up for it. <laughs> you know you're really attracted to someone when you just can't keep your eyes off of them. I feel so at ease with Chris already. He makes me feel so comfortable. We have five new people joining the mansion. Me, Georgia, and Dale. Hi, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to meet all of you. And Theo, who came all the way from London. Lovely to meet you all. Lastly, meet Will and Cassie. What's up, y'all? Oh my gosh, we already kissed on the way here. <laughs> and with that, it's time to switch. Oh wow, that was so quick. I hope we get to do that again. 
right? But you know what? It was great meeting you. Girlfriend, you are doing great. So who do you want to talk to next? Hmm, I'll think I'll go with someone new. I would like to talk to Dale. <laughs> yes, I love Dale. He's on the beach. And I overheard Dale saying that you were his type. Oh, and a little tip. He loves to cook. What would I do without you? I was hoping we had the chance to talk. Oh, is that right? So, do you like to cook? Do I? Yes. I love cooking. Hmm. I think that is so sexy. I'm very attracted to a guy who knows his way around the kitchen. Well, tell me something about you that you haven't told anyone else. I like that question. Well, I've never been in love. Wow. How is that possible? To be honest, it takes a while for me to open up. I totally get that. But falling in love feels good. I promise you, it's worth opening up. So clearly you have experience. Yep. But truly, I know how you feel. If we end up matching, I promise to take things slow. That's really sweet of you. Look at the big blue sky. Oh, oh okay. That was a random switch, but yeah, all right. Yeah, this place is gorgeous. It's crazy to think of everything that's going to happen here, right? for real like we could be engaged by the end of this wait a minute hold up partner that's a little forward getting ahead of yourself aren't you you know what i mean anything could happen <laughs> very true i'm so excited super excited well i really hope switch darn man y'all are cute together <laughs> just saying See you soon, Patrice. Mm -hmm. All right, babe, this is your last conversation. Who do you want to talk to? Easy, Vlad. Vlad? So we know that Vlad really hit it off with Isadora. Damn it. But you're like a million times cooler than her. So go work your magic. Here we go. What's up, Patrice? Hey. Mm, how can I show him I'm more fun than Isadora? I'm in the mood for some fun. What are we playing? Let's play dare. Dare? Like truth or dare, but just dares. All right, I'm down. I dare you to pour this bucket of ice water over your head. Shit. All right, I'll do it. It's hot out here, why not? I gotta fake it till I make it, right? Hmm. You close your eyes, count to three, and then pour it over your head. Oh, shit. This was freezing. Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. My turn. I dare you to suck my toe. Let's see how sexy you can be. Just you wait. <laughs> he laughs as you stick your foot out to him. A pretty toes, right? And I just got a pedicure too. Mm-hmm. He smiles seductively and then kisses the tip of your big toe. He squeezes your foot as you, mm -hmm. ooh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe you're actually doing this. I'm not one to turn down a good dare. Hmm, I see. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna read any of the tutorial stuff. So I'll probably just delete it in the future. I can't take my eyes off you. Would it be okay if I kissed you? I don't know why I'm being excited on the outside, but no thank you. I'm sure you kissed Isadora. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. Your time is up. Everyone head back to the mansion and find your love coach. That was so fun. I really like hanging out with you. Oh yeah, the toe sucking was the best part. <laughs> I feel the same. I like hanging out with you too. See you later. Hey babe, how are you feeling? God, I'm having so much fun. I believe it, you're glowing. So what's next? 
We always throw a big party on the first night. Tonight, we're having everyone wear white. Awesome. So tell me, who caught your eye? Gosh, it's hard to say, but I will say that if I had to pick, I'll definitely pick Chris. Yeah, I had a great day with Chris. Chris is so cute, and I feel like the two of you can go far in this competition. Now let's pick out the perfect white outfit, one we know Chris will love. I have these outfits designed perfectly for you. I'm dying to see you in them. Love this on me. Oh my gosh. Chris will love this trendy look. Okay, next outfit. Ooh, this dress hugs you in all the right places. Yeah, I love this one too. Chris won't be able to keep his hands off you. I know, right? <laughs> Gosh, you look great in both outfits. Which one do you want? Now, you know I do not have enough for any of these outfits, especially when you gave me the first one for free. So I have to stick with the basic jeans and a polo shirt. Sorry. That's too bad. Well, you should get going. Have fun. The music is bumping, drinks are flowing, and the whole crew is loosening up. So we start kissing, and then she gasps and says, You're not Harry. I hope this she is someone off of this dating show. He don't even look like Prince Harry. Not in the slightest. <laughs> what a day. Cheers to our first night on Love on Fire. Time for Spin the Bottle. Fun. We're going to spin the bottle and ask whoever it lands on a question. They will answer with a kiss. You'll see soon enough. The bottle spins and lands on Vlad. Here we go. All right, Vlad. Who among us kissed her best friend's older brother? Hmm. Vlad looks around the group. He catches your eye and smiles and then walks over to Georgia. Vlad goes in for a big kiss, one that makes the entire group swoon. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that was hot. That's correct. Mm. The bottle spins and lands on Patrice. Yeah. Who here had their first kiss at 13 when they still had braces? Hmm. Let me look around. Hmm. Marcus. You walk around the circle and stop in front of Marcus. He smiles bashfully. <laughs> He's cute, but I'm just gonna kiss him on the cheek. You plant a kiss on Marcus's soft skin. Such a tease. That's incorrect, but at least you got a kiss. <laughs> the bottle spins and lands on Chris. Chris, who here has never had a one night stand? I only want to kiss one person, so I got to be smooth about this. Chris walks slowly around the circle, stopping every now and then. And then he walks straight for you. He leans in and whispers in your ear so no one else can hear. I don't care whether or not you've had a one night stand. I want to kiss you. So cute. <laughs> May I? OMG, you know I really want to say yes, but I don't have enough diamonds to get what I really want, so I have to say no thank you. Ugh. You can tell the rejection stings. Chris walks away and bears. Oh, Chris, you have to understand that it's not my fault. Ooh, poor Chris. Okay, all you hotties. Time to meet in the foyer and see who will continue their love on fire journey. And who will be eliminated. Dun, dun, dun. You'll never guess what we have in store for you. Love on Fire has only just begun. 